Hi, this is Tom Smith here with The Shit Show. For my first guest, I have Mr. Bondi, owner of Bondi's Island. <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Bondi. How you doing? So, now I understand that your company is interested in going into a new field. Could you tell us something about this? Well, we were figuring to change it from shit into perfume. So, what's the name of your new perfume? Smells like an angel. Smells like an angel? Oh, what are you going to put into this new perfume? Shit. Uh, hmm. uh, so you think people smell attractive when they smell like shit? Yeah, because it makes them smell like their underwears. That's a very interesting theory. Um, are you going to put anything else into this? Yeah, I'm going to piss in it. Are you going to put your own personal piss in this? Yeah, I've been pissing for like about 100 years now because I'm so old. It's, I got so much. <laughs> Amazing, you don't look old. What? How many facelifts have you had? Three. Three facelifts? Yeah. Must have been very complete jobs. Yeah, they were. Oh, you anyway, pissed on my yeah. face while they were doing it, too. Oh, well, anyway, let's get back to the subject here. Okay. Okay, so you're going to put your own personal piss in it. Okay, how much do you think you're going to make on this project? About four million dollars. Oh. You figure you can make $4 million selling a product that you call perfume made out of piss and shit. Yes. Okay. Don't you think a lot of groups are going to get mad about you selling a product called Smells Like an Angel when it really smells like shit? Why? I don't know. Some people seem to take a front of you to shit. Well... Uh, they might want to change it to a more appropriate name that they think of, like, oh, OD shit or something like that. Well... I don't care what they say, they're not going to change the name. I own a company and I'm going to keep it smells like an angel. Well, now, this is Mr. Bondi. And look for his new product, a perfume called Smells Like an Angel, in your local stores. My next guest, Mr. J John H. Brown. <clears throat> and he, who's yeah. written a book, um, excuse me a second. Straight from the asshole. Yes. Um, tell us a little about your book. Um, well, it's mainly about shit. See, we, 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 I'm interested in the subject of shit because it is very interesting. Like, smelling like shit is the most important thing to me. And I, I'm um, in Yes, that's very noticeable. I intend on buying some of that smells like an angel shit, you know, for my girl, if whenever it comes out. Because I love shit. That's my favorite thing. Well, when did you start loving shit? Oh, when I was a little kid. I, I never told my mother that I had shit in my pants, you know, my diaper, so she never changed the diaper. I just love shit. It's just... Excellent. I just love shit. So, what made you decide to write the book? Well, see, I like to tell more people what shit is really like. Because people despise shit. Except, you see, shit is nice. I don't know. You just have to um, learn to enjoy it and accept it in uh, this society. In other words, you're saying that shit is an integral part of life. Yes, because without shit, see, there would be nothing. It would just be a plain world without shit. Mm. Hey, let's face it, shit, if it wasn't for shit, we wouldn't be able to fertilize our crops. Yeah, see, except... If it wasn't for shit, our asses would constantly be in pain. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, I 
I'm John H. Brown. I'd like to sell you this book straight from the asshole for only $9.95. Cover priced at $15.95. Your amazing deal for only $9.95. Let me tell you about this book, folks. It's so amazing. It's all about shit. Shit, shit, shit. All you can think of for just $9.99. It's packed with it's packed with information. Information about shit. All the all the new things about shit and all. Oh, it is amazing. Only $9.99, folks. Only $9.99. And if you order now, you can get it for $7.99. Only $7.99! So order yours now! Thank you! Order now! Would you please join us? Oh, hello. It's, it's, it's good Thank to you be here. Thank you for being on my show. It's good to be here. So, now we all... What? How are you doing, sir? Hello. What is your professional um, dealings with shit? Well... Uh, your other guests have, uh, are more into the other end of shit. Like, I, I'm into the, like, the, like, how it is made up, the chromosomes of shit. Um, the different types and, and, and like, uh, levels of shit. There, there are many, like, the lowest level would, of course, come from a vegetarian, you see. And, like, someone who eats a balanced diet of all sorts of good types of things. It, it, has much better shit than their must. They're much, much, much healthier. Only the top quality now, shit. The thing that makes me the maddest is people, when they flush dog shit down the toilet, that screws the whole damn thing up. Shit, dog shit's in your house. You do not flush it down the toilet. You throw it out the door. And I want to tell everyone out there in TV land, next time your dog drops a load in your living room, out the door. <laughs> So you you get very angry when people f f flush um, shit besides human shit down the and toilet. And fish, they, why do they do this to their goldfish? When your when your loved one dies, say say your your husband were to die, right? If you had a husband, of course you're not a faggot. Maybe you are, but I don't know your personal life. And you would would you take? I don't like get to know it better. Would you like Would you like to t take your dead person and throw them into Bonnie's Island? That's what you're doing. <laughs> Do you realize this? Do you agree with me? Yeah. Do you agree? <laughs> yeah. See, now we, we've sparked an interesting conversation Long here. Long time we do something like this. Yeah, we should talk about this stuff. We, People flushing toilet paper. People gotta know what to do when they're... They around. should have a separate can for toilet paper and keep it right near the toilet. And they should have a special can to put shit in to conserve it. They, they should... I don't know why people... They flush it in bondies. They're giving away the shit, okay? They should keep it in a can and use it for themselves. Do you think that you should have a person in every bathroom to make sure that only legal... Every bathroom. Only legal shit is flushed down your toilet. Anyone who has a brown spot on their ass and it's trickling down their leg, this is a sure sign of diarrhea. They are not to be allowed into a restroom. Ah, so what you're saying <laughs> is that we have to be extra sure that only our quality shit is flushed to businessmen like Mr. Bondi, so... We know that the consumer will get top quality products, but on the same hand, shouldn't the consumer be able to save his own best <laughs> shit for himself? Well, if, if they wish, but I'm not going to say that because I'll, I'll make Mr. Bondi mad. I wouldn't want to infuriate Mr. Bondi, seeing he has a large amount of shit to throw at me, so... <laughs> if we had a nuclear war, all our shit would be ruined. I know, Think listen to the man! We'd have to, 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 to scrape Bonnie's Island, for instance. The whole top, the first foot of shit would have to be scraped off and buried. You know what a waste that is? Well, it is rather a terrible thought, but... It's wasteful. Would you throw good food out into the street and run it over? Um, no, I don't think so. Well, that's what shit is. It's, it's perfect. It's being thrown into rivers, into streams, and and they don't even tell me which ones they are, so I can I swim know. them. I know. I I despise of this. Oh, Mr. It's, it's good Brown to... Stain. I I would like to impose on this <coughs> also because he is very very true because 
Shit is life. I, without shit, I don't know. What we there is do. no life without shit. Yes. There is that, no mold growing. Yes. You, you look at shit and it turns white. It's it not the because flies it's bleached. Would do without shit. It's, it's not. It's not bleached. There's a. There's a bacteria which is necessary for antelope digestion. Now, without this bacteria, antelopes would be throwing up all over. Would you rather have white shit in your yard or antelope throw up? Antelope throw up. There's an interesting theory going now that mammals actually came from reptile shit. Because they discovered that certain reptile shit in the right conditions will grow fur. Where do you want me to sign it? Oh, could you write, um, uh, shit forever, um, John Paul Brown? Uh, um, could you, um, tell us something about some of the other ways that unknowingly we waste shit? Well, that, uh, there's, there's many ways. Um, there's, there's also the waste of uh, snot. I, I'm, I'm working on that now. As many people are wasting snot also. But shit is our main concern. <coughs> shit is our very main concern. Whoa, what? What's that? Someone's uh, flushing someone's that toilet. Flushing the toilet. No, no. Who's flushing that toilet? No. That toilet. No. Who's no. flushing that toilet? No. You're damn fool. You don't oh, flush no. the toilet. I'm afraid you have to. Stop momentarily because um, all oh my kids are back. They beating the shit out of each other because one of them flushed the toilet and ass. You're dumb. We're having you slight technical difficulties and just oh, a second here while I try to get the situation. You don't flush the toilet. What's your name? You're so big, you're so stupid. Oh, <laughs> 